The statewide elections this week sent a message to marijuana businesses, you are not welcome. More than a thousand Michigan communities have now opted out of the emerging cannabis industry. 13 on your side's Amor Abbas has more on the effects of those decisions. Well, it's disheartening. Cannabis advocate Michael Tuffelmeyer says the will of the people is not being heard. Prop 1, as known now as the MRTMA, passed uh, by the voters by 55%, which is a lot. We're talking hundreds of thousands of more votes of yes than no. But after the statewide elections this week, there are now more than 1,300 Michigan communities, several in the western part of the state, who have said no to marijuana businesses. This has done nothing but hurt patients. This hasn't stopped any kind of violent activity or drug activity or cartel activity. Many of the communities that have opted out are rural, and Tuffelmeyer argues that most of them could use the additional revenue from marijuana businesses. They're going to lose out on some of the tax structure that was set up through MRTMA that was supposed to benefit. We're talking roads, schools here. But if other states like Colorado are an example, some of these Michigan municipalities could change their minds down the road. People are going to notice some of these cities that are blowing up, including smaller towns who very early on opted in. And they're going to see this, and I hope that, yes, I hope they see a, a good economic model. In Grand Rapids, I'm Boss, 13 on your side.